Hello, and welcome to Pro Tools 11, the new standard for audio production. This video is an overview of the new Avid Audio Engine, or AAE for short. We will be going over the new engine as well as looking in more detail at some of the performance enhancements, such as dynamic plug-in processing and the low latency input buffer. The Avid Audio Engine is a ground-up rewrite, giving you a truly brand new, optimized and intelligent audio engine for Pro Tools 11. By doing this, we now have the ability to take advantage of all the processor's cores and evenly distribute the load over them. Looking at the system usage window, you can see all of the cores and how the load is distributed. You can also see that you no longer have to choose how many processors to use as the engine can manage all of them efficiently. This greatly simplifies the setup process of the playback engine settings. Now, let's take a look at some of the improvements in more detail. The first of these improvements is dynamic plug-in processing. This process for the native engine will allocate resources on the fly to plugins as they are needed to process what is currently on the timeline. Once the process is no longer needed, it will then give back to the overall pool of resources. First, let's take a look at our example session in Pro Tools 10. You can see the timeline is not very dense in the first half of the screen, but then gets more active down the line, thinning out once again towards the end. While the session is playing, you will notice that the CPU load does not change much in the system usage window and even spikes periodically during playback, even at higher buffer settings. Now, let's take a look at the exact same session in Pro Tools 11. As you can see in the example on the screen, the CPU meters are not very active in the less dense section of the session. But as the playhead moves towards the dense part of the timeline, you will see the CPU meter activity surge to accommodate the heavier load. Then, after the playhead passes into the less active part of the timeline and a few seconds pass, the CPU meter activity goes down as the resources are then given back to the overall pool to be used elsewhere. By using this dynamic allocation with the new performance enhancements of the Avid Audio Engine, you will see an exponential increase in the native power of Pro Tools. Next, let's take a look at another feature of the new Avid Audio Engine, the low latency input buffer. When you look at how big this session is with all of the routing, plugins, and it being mixed in surround, what happens when you need to record just one more track? In the past, you'd have had to change routing, make plugins or even tracks inactive to be able to adjust the buffer low enough to possibly get the latency to a point of usability. With Pro Tools 11, we now have an automatic low latency input buffer. How this works is that all of the playback tracks are in a fixed, high buffer domain. Any tracks that have a live input whether they be an audio track with a physical input assigned in record or track input, or a VI instrument track and record, would automatically be switched into the low buffer domain. This buffer is set with the hardware buffer setting in the playback engine setup. This allows the user to get the lowest possible latency without having to constantly adjust the buffer or the session. As you can see, we can easily record our dialogue overdub while keeping all of the surround outputs intact, all plugins active, and we even have a separate Q mix for the talent. This will be a huge benefit to all users. There are other improvements and enhancements to the new Avid Audio Engine. Pro Tools 11 now timestamps all automation, making sure each playback is as accurate as possible. A long time feature request, Pro Tools 11 can now write automation while recording. This feature will be a benefit to post mixers and Dolby Atmos workflows broadcast mixers who want to start their post mix while recording, and tracking mixers who have long wanted the ability to control groups of tracks with VCA masters while recording. SINs are now fully compensated for with automatic delay compensation. And, with the power of the new audio engine, Pro Tools 11 now has advanced metering capabilities. This will be shown in more detail with a separate video. Avid has gone back to the drawing board and created a new and powerful audio engine for Pro Tools 11. With new features such as dynamic plug-in processing and the low latency input buffer, as well as the other enhancements, it is easy to see why Pro Tools 11 is the new standard for audio production.